I'm James Bamford. I'm a writer. I've spent most of my career writing on intelligence and national security. I specialized in the NSA, the National Security Agency, from the very beginning. My name's Platon, and I'm a photographer. I've captured people like Gaddafi, Putin, all the living American presidents. And this particular project, in some way, sums up everything I've ever worked on in my life. I've interviewed numerous whistleblowers from NSA in the past, and this is sort of the ultimate whistleblower. No one can get to this guy. This guy is probably one of the most wanted people on the planet. And there was never a moment when it, we knew it's going to work out. You know, I've been trying to do this for eight months or more, and uh, I was just very worried that for some reason something was going to go wrong. I remember just keep looking at my watch, and then suddenly there's the quietest tap on the door, and this small frame elegantly just seeps through the door. He shakes our hand and says, Hi, I'm Ed. I hadn't really seen him smile before or laugh or anything. It was very comforting to see that this is not the serious Ed Snowden that I'd seen on television, that we could have sort of a, an interesting rapport. So while he's talking, I'm watching him. He's gentle. He's, he's quiet. And yet, there's a weird power to this guy. He feels so strongly about what he's doing. He's willing to go to, to prison. He's willing to work out some kind of a negotiated settlement. I mean, it was almost as though Ed Snowden was on this train that was out of control, and he was the only one sort of the courage to pull the emergency brake in order to get that information to the American public. When Snowden was ready, and I said, look, I'm not here to impose anything on you, but I do have a few things that will help us tell a story. And he looked at the flag and he said, I don't know, it's a bit risky, but that is pretty powerful. I didn't want to give the impression of cheap defiance. He seems to care deeply about what America is. One of the most striking things he said, uh, not only do I believe in something, I believe in it enough that I'm willing to set my own life on fire and burn it to the ground. And I believe that because that's basically what he did. And now he's a man without a country, wondering about whether he's going to be arrested and put in jail for the rest of his life. So I shake his hand. He says goodbye to everyone. He's a very humble guy. He leaves the room. The door closes and we all look at each other and our jaws drop open. I spent, I think, more time with Ed Snowden than anybody else has spent. I think what it gave me was a better insight into Ed Snowden than people had seen before, and that insight was uh, how dedicated and sincere he was.